it's gonna be hype, man. Masuda, Masuda, don't let us down. We're turning off the okay. We're turning off the music. It's time to get hype. We have almost seven thousand viewers in the goddamn chat right now. This is the time, my boys. This is the sun. This is the sun. Let's go. Are you ready? Here we go, man. This is crazy. Like, I'm getting hyped now. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it now. Yo, let's go, my boys. What's going on? Yo, Masuda, win me back. Win me back, Masuda. You got Pokemon Go. It's looking crispy. You got Pokemon Tournament. It looks crispy. What is going to happen in the main series side of things? Let's go to the sun, my boys. Let's go to the sun, my boys. Oh, Lord. You know Iwata is smiling upon us right now. Okay. We old school? We old school? Pokemon Direct! Let's go! Alright, so we got Masuda right there. Start the Pokemon Direct! Start it up! Hey, Masuda! Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Let's go! Today, I'm here at the Pokemon Company's office in the Ropongi district of Tokyo, and I would like to directly... Let's go! ...deliver some news to all of you. That back wall looking crispy right now. February 27th, 1996, Pokemon Day. ...was the day when the original oh, no, no. Pokemon games, Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green, were released in Japan. Oh, Lord. It's been exactly 20 years since that day. Damn! When Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were first released on the Game Boy, the Pokemon were depicted as pixel art on a monochromatic screen. But uh -huh. the hardware has now evolved to the point that players can adventure alongside Pokemon that are rendered in vivid 3D graphics on the Nintendo 3DS. That's pretty crazy. Yes, we know, we know, we know. For the 20th anniversary today, I have prepared an all-new video to show you. Oh, Lord. Please take a look. Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! Pokemon! Yo, here we go. Celebrating all Pokemon trainers. New sponsor, Oprah's Toast. Oprah, what's going on? Spawn time. So we're going back. We're going back to old school. We know this. Niggas are taking us back. Alright. Okay! Reliving all those hype moments from all those generations, man. Let's go. Nigga said the feels. No, no, this isn't it. This can't be it. They're not just going to reveal red and blue. Niggas have link cables in the... They, 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 they're in the 90s, my man? Yo. Pokemon went in with this whole thing, man. They're really trying to appeal to all the age demographics that ever picked up a Pokemon game, period. Sun and Moon, wait a minute. <laughs> Sun and Moon, we have Lunatone and Solrock. Wait, what's going on? Yeah, this is making me feel old as hell right now. Yeah, Ryoji, this is making me feel old as hell. Yo, is it time? Is it time? Let's go. Okay. Here we go. It all comes together in an all-new Pokemon adventure. Here we go, guys. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. We're ready. Let's go. Give us a, give us the details. Excellent. Now give us the details. Don't you dare tell me that was it. Saw in the video, the all-new Pokemon games, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, were okay. released on the Nintendo 3DS this year worldwide in 2016. Give us something, goddammit. it! And give us something. Why, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, players could choose to play in one of these seven languages. Mm hmm. And with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. In order to allow for even more people to enjoy the games, 
we have added both traditional and simplified Chinese to the language options. Since China is more open with their gaming market. These nine languages right when they begin playing the game. Yeah, you know, that's great. That's great to be honest with you. I mean, China, they've been closed for so long and now... Pokemon, players can overcome language barriers and interact with other players from around the world. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good fucking move right there. The original Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Yellow will be available on the Nintendo eShop as digital distributions tomorrow. Okay. So many people were being hype Pokemon about the um, first gen stuff. To evolve alongside Nintendo's hardware. Connectivity between the games has also evolved from using the Game Boy Link cable to wireless. The wireless adapter lasted for only one game, and Fire Red, Leaf Green, and then BAM, that was it. We made it possible for you to take the Pokemon you caught and bring them over to the next generation of games, even if they were mm -hmm. different hardware. However, Let's fucking go. we were never able to solve the communication issues with the Game Boy, and it was not possible to bring Pokemon yeah. from the Game Boy games over to games on other hardware. Remember that transition? That transition sucked. That the new digital distributions of Pokemon Red blue and yellow will take you can bring them online pokemon storage service pokemon that way you can bring them over to your pokemon that's hot or pokemon moon game that's hot <laughs> that's hot we'll take the pokemon you caught in the damn versions of the games and give them a chance to shine in pokemon sun and pokemon moon okay okay of course, we have many new ways for you to enjoy Pokemon this year for our 20th anniversary. But we will You're giving us more details, right? More and more fun new experiences in the future. So please look. You're giving us more details, aren't you? Thank you for watching. Are you niggering me? Okay, Sun and Moon. Show us some Pokemon. Show us a preview. Nothing. Come on. Oh my god! Masuda! 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 Uh, they told us things we already knew from before! Masuda! <laughs> Why did they not show anything? Oh man, well you know what, it's still hype. We know for a fact these games are confirmed. No idea what generation they represent. Most likely a new gen, though, because they were talking about this as if, you know, oh, look at these previous generations, and in 2016, we have a new set of games coming. So, I mean, the way that they went about it, it seems like it's going to be brand new. We can't say for a goddamn fact, but, I mean, that didn't really reveal anything that we didn't know from yesterday. But, of course, this would have been way more hype if it wasn't leaked, so this goes to show you leaks suck. But, I mean, still... I don't know, man. No details at all. Nothing shown. Nothing at all shown, my boys. This is so crazy. Like, I mean, okay, all right. You dudes gotta let me know honestly what your opinions of this whole thing is in the chat right now, guys. There's some people that are disappointed as hell right now. I know they didn't show any kind of gameplay. Nothing in terms of what would be the, what would be Pokemon Moon and Sun, Sun and Moon, Pokemon S and M. We have nothing right now. So how much longer until we get something? Obviously, now is the time. The hype period begins, however. This is the start of when that ball begins rolling. That snowball is going to start right now, guys. So with new Coral Coral coming out in the future, we're obviously going to be getting way more details about this whole thing. So we'll know in a very short amount of time what generation this game is going to be coming from, what it's going to be presenting. We don't have to wait long at all. At most, what, maybe like another week or two? Details will be rolling out about this all fucking year so it's all good but there's a lot to be excited for man pokemon is really pushing this whole 20th anniversary thing and we also have connectivity for the eShop versions of red green blue and yellow you know depending on your region um and they'll be able to be compatible with transferring pokemon over to sun and moon but we currently know nothing in terms of being able to transfer those pokemon from the eShop versions of red blue to other games like x and y oras will you be able to transfer the first gen pokemon in that sense we don't fucking know six minutes long that was that direct i mean let's let's watch do it again real quick guys they told us six minutes but it went by fast yeah i know man that shit fucking zoomed past hold on well, let's go let's go back let's look at some more of these details man Tokyo. we had an awesome trailer though we had an awesome trailer however which really showcased the golden moments of Pokemon, stuff that we all experience. 1999, 2002, 
So they're showing us new gens. Yeah, so we know for a fact, at this point now, Sun and Moon has to be a new generation. Because look at the way they identified it. Look at this. 2010, and in yep, it's a new gen. It has to be a new gen. The way that they categorized it, they were showing every. They were just showing the new generations when they came through, like X and Y, 2013, and now 2016. You know, they didn't show off Oras or anything else in terms of sixth gen, just X and Y, and they, that's the thing that they did for the whole thing: black and white, diamond and pearl. So you know, we got a new gen in our hands, boys. New Pokemon, let's go. New gen confirmed. New gen confirmed. We can say this safely at this point now. There is nothing to expect but a new generation here. But then it leaves so many questions. What about all the stuff that was left unfinished in Pokemon X and Y? I don't know, man. I, it's kind of strange to me. We still have things that need to be discovered here, guys. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm jumping the gun here calling the new generation automatically, but they basically called it themselves right here. It all comes together in an all-new Pokemon adventure. Wait, wait, let's go back. We saw some stuff. Okay, yeah, we're seeing some new shit right here. There's some preview sketches here. They have some artwork done over here on the computer. They got some shit going on. They showed a little bit of a flash of it. Maybe we can see the trainers. I'm not... Ooh! Okay, so look at this preview shot right here. This is obviously something that maybe they've been working on for Sun and Moon. And we can see that the trainers seem like they're more accurately proportioned to real-life configurations rather than just being all chibi status in the old world. That trainer, it's hard to see. It's hard to see. But it looks like he's more full-bodied rather than being shrunken down like they did in X and Y. Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. Or maybe this is a preview image. But it looks like it's straight from the game. So, let's see here. We, are, we don't really have any new Pokemon showing up in terms of the screenshot, but we're seeing what potentially some of these trainers might look like in the overworld. I don't know, guys. This is kind of exciting. This is kind of exciting, my boys. I mean, hold on, let's see. That's a new Pokemon. That's definitely a fucking new Pokemon on that computer screen. I don't recognize that bitch. Yeah, I don't recognize you. What the fuck is that? <coughs> so, they even though they didn't really give us any actual gameplay these little preview shots these little sneak peeks at what they've been working on on their pcs they're giving us a lot of information right here i don't know what program is that is that um cinema 4d my nigga but yo we got a fucking pokemon right there someone said put it on zero um, put it on 0 0.25 speed from hr all right let's take a look at it real quick because yo man they showed us some shit like even what even though the whole thing it happened and they didn't officially show us anything there were some preview shots in there that looked pretty crispy man that's a new fucking pokemon right there man or maybe not maybe it's a fletchling maybe it's a fletchling i don't know but i don't recognize it maybe somebody can translate the text that's on the screen as well too but of course we'll get translations eventually there's going to be niggas that break down this trailer man so i mean i ain't even worried about none of that dude Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, all right. I, I don't know. Was that a Pokemon that we recognize? I don't know for a fact, man. It's hard to tell. Nigga, that's a horsey. No, Reggie. No, that's not a fucking horsey. No. We didn't get much, though. We, we did not get much. Yeah, we didn't get much at all, man. So, you know what? All right, guys, we have what we have. We got to make the best of it. I'm excited about this. We know that it's definitely a new generation now, so we can get hype on that level, but we still have to wonder about what happened with Z, what happened with um, the follow-up to X and Y. We don't know, but hey, whatever. At the end of the day here, we still have new Pokemon that are going to be coming on board, and uh, that's it, basically. Guys, thank you once again for coming through to the EWN. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the, the comments. The donations were crazy. Um... We have um, another donation from KT10NT saying, are you going to play Project X Zone and X Zone 2? Are you going to live stream them? I don't know for a fact. I don't know for a fact. But because um, I played Project X Zone 2 a little bit, I like it. But I don't know if it's something that I'll be able to really play and enjoy on stream as much as I'll just play on my, on my own. But anyways, guys, it's a Fletchling. Yeah, it might be a Fletchling. That's definitely Fletchling. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I, I guess it is a Fletchling. Yeah. But alright guys, I will talk to you all later on. Thank you once again, and I will speak to you niggas 
next time. Yo, we need to analyze this footage though. I want to be able to see translations, breakdowns, comparisons. And this is something that we know Game Explain might just do really well. So check out those guys. They're going to be on top of it. I'm going to be trying to look up information as well too. And if anything else groundbreaking happens, I'll be on top of it. So you got variation in terms of what you can look at certain niggas for. I'll talk to you all later on. Peace.